Guys, another bike review. This one is pretty big. Uh, you can't tell by the box. It's about, I would say, 25% bigger than a normal e-bike, or maybe even almost twice as big as a normal e-bike box that we get. So, uh, as you can see by the label, how Hauke, don't know how to say it, not going to try anymore. Here it is. So let's get it out of the box. Let's see what it's all about. Looks kind of like a motorcycle, according to the picture. All-terrain, electric fat tire bike. I don't know about all-terrain. I do like that motorcycle look, though. So let's get it out and see what it looks like for real. There it is. Hey, this bike is sharp. I actually like the way this thing looks. It's all dark. It's got a nice motorcycle seat, motorcycle headlight, hydraulic disc brakes. I like that. And the battery sits right here where your gas tank would be. That's kind of appropriate. As you can see, 48 volts, 27 amp hour, pretty big battery. Uh, 48 volts. Hmm. Would have been better if it was 52 or 60 volts, but let's see how this thing rides. This is a big bike. Now, it is definitely uh, shorter rider friendly, I'd say. Even though it's a it's a big bike, it feels motorcycle-y. It does not feel like a bicycle. I could see this, this being a great contender for a ultralight motorcycle conversion, maybe. Like you guys maybe have seen that I've done before with like the aerial rider and that type of stuff. So... So far, I'm really impressed. I like the looks. I love this storage bin down here. You could put another battery there. You could put a bunch of stuff in there. That's cool. That's an extra. The frame overall looks really nice. It is a hardtail. It does not have rear suspension. That's eh, okay. I would not be going off-road with this thing, to be honest with you. Doesn't strike me as an off-road capable bike off-rip. Off but and that's what they claim. Either way, we're going to ride it on the road. We're going to see what it's like. Uh, definitely cafe racer possibilities on this one. So stay tuned. I'm going to do some stuff with this. This should be a fun bike. I'm excited. So either way, let's get it charged up. And uh, let's see. This turns on. Yeah, so that turns on. Okay, no problem. And uh, typically this... Oh, that's, uh, we'll have to read through the manual see what all the features do on it. But either way, she's ready to go. Let's charge it up and take it for a ride. Can't do it today. It's gonna to be in this same video, but today it's been pouring and raining. So stay tuned. We'll charge it now, take it for a spin. All right, so here we are with the Hauke bike. Really cool looking. We've got it out in the sun so you can see everything here. A very motorcycle-esque looking package. I like that, I dig that. I think that's a really fun uh, setup. I have a couple of other bikes like that. I, I've actually configured them to be completely electric motorcycles instead of having pedals and crank. And I love it, I love riding them around. This is a great, great uh, transportation alternative if you don't need a car or if you're in a place where you can't have a car. Awesome. Real heavy duty frame, you can see. It's all tubular, all welded really strong. Uh, batteries mounted up here, I like that. Motorcycle seat, I like that as well. Could be a little softer, it's a pretty tough seat, but you can always get that reupholstered. Full size fork, as you can see, goes all the way up to the neck. And uh, handlebars to suit. Handlebars are laid out a little forward. You could get a different riser or a different uh, neck here. If you want something a little bit further back and get an adjustable one, you can configure this for yourself. Short rider friendly, definitely. I'm six foot, 175 pounds, but you don't have to be. This, this bike is definitely short rider friendly. I can 
I can say confidently, if you're five foot, you can still flat foot this bike. So really, really good all around fit for most people. Um, not that heavy. It's not a very heavy bike either for, for what you're getting. It's like a motorcycle basically, but still way under a hundred pounds. I like it. So um, anyway, we're gonna take it for a spin now. This thing, I'm hoping to see close to 30 miles per hour. That would be excellent. Uh, and we'll, we'll just see what that means because 30 miles an hour to me is the break point between like a bicycle and a motorcycle. And I like to see that extra speed. Now, that would make, make this a class three bike. You can limit it, make it a class one or two bike if you want to, because it has pedals and everything. But we're not today. We're gonna set, we're gonna set this thing free and see what it does. So buckle up. Okay, so first test here, we're gonna go ahead and just throttle in, see what kind of speed we get. This is all throttle, no pedaling. Let's see what we got. Touching 30 miles an hour according to the dash. We'll go back the other way, verify that. But I think that's about right. Let's see. Here we go the other way. Acceleration is not too bad. Could use a little bit more. But I mean, considering the top speed, we're at 29. flashing on the dash very stable one-handed as you can see let's check the GPS see what that says 29 miles an hour according to GPS so that's pretty good 29 30 on the dash so we're right at 30 miles an hour that hits our number one goal I would say for this bike so this is a 30 mile an hour bike I'm gonna confidently say if you uh, jack the speed all the way up and if you've got a little bit of wind to your uh to your back let's see what the freewheel speed says freewheel speed means there we take the wheel off the ground and we just use the throttle and see what the speed goes up to look at that 35 34 almost 35 miles an hour freewheel so if you've got wind to your back this thing's going over 30 no problem no problem we actually we actually have a crosswind today so you could see both directions we were still hitting that 30 mile an hour mark, the 29 to 30 mile an hour mark so with the wind definitely going to be over 30. that's impressive i like this bike i'm liking it more and more i'm going to take it for some more rides just to to enjoy it a little bit further but wow overall pretty cool they market it as an off-road bike i don't know Let's take it off there real quick and just see what it feels like. Not really, I'm thinking not so much off-road, honestly. That's <laughs> not the strong point of this bike. But we'll do it anyway. Let's see what we got. I mean, it's not bad, but you can definitely tell it's a hardtail. We are not, uh, we're not absorbing much in the back in the front it's not that bad but in the back uh, basically so uh, i would say don't don't expect to take this thing off road not 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 the best off road bike oh my god definitely not with one hand either <laughs> okay back on the road on road definitely though super smooth very uh very easy to ride if you're a novice rider you've never rode a motorcycle before this is a great way to get into it really because you don't have to worry about the transmission on a gas powered motorcycle with with gears and all that stuff you can just enjoy the ride and learn how to how to control something like this it's it's bigger than a bicycle 
So you can expect that, but it's not as big as a typical motorcycle. So really, really cool. Overall, two thumbs up. I love this bike. I'm gonna do some stuff to it. Now that we've got this kind of initial review out of the way, I have some plans. I wanna make this thing cafe racer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some stuff. Maybe, maybe take the pedaling cranks off, flip the bar, get a nice uh, swept bar for it that sits kind of low because I love this stance and I think this thing would look killer done up cafe racer style. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, I'll go ahead and uh, do some more research and just see what, what else I can figure out about it. Overall, great bike. I love these brakes. They feel really good. They're nice and strong. Um, we'll ride it at night, see how the headlight is. I love the, the, the look overall, the scrambler look, we'll call it. I might put some street tires on it since I really don't want to take this thing off road. It'll reduce the road noise and maybe even pick up a mile per hour or two. I have some, some nice street street tires we can throw on it. But uh, anyway, check out the link below. Get yourself one of these if you're into it. I'm into it. I think it's a killer bike. And uh, I'm not sure how long these are going to be available. But as of right now, they are still available. So go check it out. Check out Haoki. I'll put the link in the description. And stay tuned for what we got next. And I will see you guys in the next one.